Breaking news now, and it comes from the Women's Ashes, where England have just announced their squad for the opening match of the series, the Test against Australia. We can go live to Derby right now and join our reporter, Rob Jones. Rob, what can you tell us? Good morning, Emma. Well, a gorgeous day here at the county ground and just 10 days to go until the women's ashes gets underway with a five-day test match at Trent Bridge in Nottingham. And John Lewis has just named a 15-player squad for that test match with two new faces. All-rounder Danny Gibson, who was a travelling reserve for the World T20 in South Africa earlier this year. And the woman behind us in the nets at the moment, 22-year-old seam bowler Lauren Filer, has also been included in that 15-player squad. Probably not the best time to go to, just as she gets bowled in the nets but let's just take you through the England squad in full then for that test match which will be captained by Heather Knight as ever Tammy Beaumont Lauren Bell who could have a big role to play with the ball this summer following the retirement of the great Catherine Siverbrunt Alice Capps who's just in the net behind Lauren at the moment Kate Cross Alice Davis and Richards who scored a century in England's last test match against South Africa last summer Sophia Dunkley the world's number one bowler Sophie Eccleston the two new faces Filer and Gibson the the wicketkeeper Amy Jones, Emma Lamb, Nat Siverbrunt, the vice captain, fast bowler Izzy Wong, and Danny Wyatt. Well, 11 of England's 15 player squad are here training today. Four who played in the Charlotte Edwards Cup finals day over the course of the weekend Sophie Eccleston, Tammy Beaumont, Danny Wyatt, and Emma Lamb will join up with the squad a little later in the week as they continue their preparations and look to try and win back the Ashes for the first time since 2015. Just to remind you, it is a multi-format series, so England will play that one-off test match at Trent Bridge, which is worth four points in the series. There are then three T20s worth two points apiece, three 50-over games also worth two points apiece, and the team with the most points at the end will take the series. Both Australia and England will play play warm-up games this week. England here at the county ground in Derby against Australia A and then England A will take on Australia as well. Both of those will be three-day matches ending on Saturday but England desperate to win the urn back. They have been talking pretty positively about their chances of finally beating this all-conquering Australian team who are absolutely wonderful side without their captain Meg Lanning who is missing due to medical reasons but they are the world champions in both 50 and 20 over cricket. They are the Ashes holders. They're the Commonwealth champions as well, so a huge task on England's radar this summer if they are to win the Ashes. But we will hear from John Lewis on the selections he's made a little later on this afternoon. We will bring it to you here on Sky Sports News. And, of course, you'll be able to see all of the women's Ashes live on Sky Sports as well. Rob, brilliant stuff. Thanks for now. Yeah, just confirmation then that England women, like Rob said, have named uh, two new uncapped players in that 15-player test squad to kick off the Ashes at Trent Bridge. Seam bowling all-rounder Danielle Gibson and the seam bowler Lauren Filer. And they will join well, the rest of the squad, the likes of the captain Heather Knight, in trying to take the first four points available in what Rob said is this multi-point system that the Ashes um, is now taking part in uh, the match taking place on June the 22nd. That's the opening match over in Nottingham. Right.